having a break for a couple of minutes here on Bonisher Lake. I just did the portage over from Big Porcupine. Just wanted to show you the uh, paddles that I'm using today. So for these trips when I'm using my solo canoe, I like to bring a kayak paddle. It's a lot more efficient than a single blade paddle. You can get, of course, twice the strokes. This is a very lightweight carbon paddle, so it doesn't tire me out. And it's uh, separate, so I can use it as my as my yoke as well. But uh, what I like about it, I like the bent shaft. It's very comfortable to use. It's uh, carbon throughout, all the way the shaft and the blade. It's a Werner Werner Shuna. Shuna's the model. Werner's the manufacturer. And I use it at a 45 degree angle. So what that means is the blades are offset. So when I put that together, and this is a 210 centimeter by the way, I like a short paddle. It's this is a high angle paddle, which means it's a wider blade rather than a long narrow blade. Wide and, and, and uh, it's wide and short, and it's meant for steep angle rather than a, a, a low angle like that that you would use from a lower kayak. But for my canoe, I like to get a steep angle. So the reason you offset it's comfort and uh, and wind resistance. So when I'm coming forward, you can see this blade. This blade is cutting into the wind, and this one's pushing water. So if it's really windy, I'll actually turn that to 60 degrees. So this one's really slicing into the wind when I come up. So I'm just paddling down uh, Potter's Creek in Algonquin Park right now, and what I'm using is my gray owl. Uh, for, I'll get the name of it and I'll put it in the comments below. I forget the, the uh, forget the type, but it's a sugarloaf style, so f um, short, wide, flat bottom, epoxy uh, coated bottom for for protecting protection against the rocks, and it's really short. You won't be able to see the length in here, but you'll see me paddling it in other videos. So basically, it's a 52 inch sugarloaf, so it's great for these little rivers. Let's take a look at the size of this creek. It's basically, it's Potter's Creek actually. I paddle a lot on these types of rivers. So of course you'll see me use the uh, Werners for most of this trip and any trip that I'm crossing big lakes or into the waves or if I'm trying to make time. But I like to, uh, I do like to paddle with a single blade. I prefer it just uh, for enjoyment, relaxation. But the Werners are far more efficient. But you can see this is actually a deep part of this creek. A lot of it's like six inches deep, just barely uh, not scraping bottom. So uh, I need to push sometimes off along the bottom or push across a beaver dam or something. And this is a great paddle for that. It's two, I've had it for two years and it's still almost perfect condition, even though I put it through hell. So a short paddle because the solo canoe is so short. It's so low to the water that any kind of long paddle forces me to use my shoulders too much, so I like this short paddle. I can lean over. I don't even lean this canoe, but I can lean right over, and it means the paddle's right, it's in the water, being a short paddle, short blade. Paddle's in the water, uh, fully submerged in the water, most of the time, even with the short blade. So thanks for watching. Have any questions about this or if you have any questions about paddles that I use or anything else just put it in the comments below or hook up with me on Facebook okay that's unusual hello buddy oh baby beaver hello little buddy <laughs> 